Hello, beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to your first week of November reading. Um, we're going to see what is coming through for you guys. So if you are new here, hello, my loves, and happy Halloween. I am recording this on Halloween. Um, I hope that you guys are all doing amazing at this time. I am channeling my Avalonian High Priestess Witch today. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys see this on the day that it, you know, uploads or even if not, and you want to share what you were for Halloween, let me know. I'd love to hear. Um, okay. So Erica, psychic medium healer. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Warrior of wands. Ooh. I'm getting passions ignite. I see that you guys have been having to shield yourselves um, and kind of armor yourselves and protect yourselves, you know, um, from outside forces, from other energies, you know. Some of you guys need to put the shields down and take the armor off or not be so guarded. There's a lot of connecting to your sovereign side, to your more divine side, like feeling the connectivity of like you and all, you know, um, feeling more connected to the flowers, to nature, to the earth, to, you know, everyone and everything. You've been going through a purification and a cleansing. And I feel that your crown chakras are like really activated at this time. Okay, so let's see. Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. There's fertility. Look at all the green. There's fertility. So You're going to be standing on solid ground, okay? That's the message here, Sag. That's probably why it's coming through in the way of like, don't just don't have your wall, or not that you have your walls up, but like don't, you can take the armor off, okay? You can, you can enjoy and be in the now moment and not have to be like on this like on guard, you know, kind of defensive way of being. You could be getting a new car, a new house, moving. This could be like a pay raise, a new job. Could also be um, an offer from, you know, in love. And as soon as I say an offer in love, the warrior of cups shows up. She's like somewhere very cold. There's a polar bear and like, it looks like the Arctic or like Alaska or something, you know? Some are very cold. You guys may have felt like you've been going through a cold, you know, era of life. Like maybe you felt very, you know, disconnected from people and like, you know, just, you know, feeling that chill around you. You've triumphed. For some of you guys, you've spent past lives as like, you know, it's like Viking energy here is what I want to say. Viking. I'm also getting like, you know, the time of like the Roman Empire. Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's a new, you have two aces. There's new beginning in love and then there's like new abundant beginnings, you know, just with career, finances. It's like the material realm, right? home life, you know, the house, things like that. But there's also someone here that's going to be seriously, it's a, some kind of beginning here, okay, that opens up a lot of like new blossoming, blooming, fertile energy. It's very healing energy. The star card is showing up and then the two of cups. Wow. I'm hearing right on time. This is happening right on time. And then the two of cups. 
soulmate energy. Right on time. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to clarify with, what do I want to clarify with? Dun, dun, dun. Let's do some Intuit work and see what comes through. And then I'm going to get a Halloween Oracle card because it's Halloween. <laughs> I'm like, it's Halloween. Whoop. I am going to make myself some homemade apple pastry turnovers like and I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner and I'm going to carve pumpkins and just do like you know connecting maybe like a little like ritual or something third party ooh okay so there's some conflict here some um that's like maybe some of the blockages here that the mountains here in the ace of pentacles this could be someone who you connect to that where it's taken a long time to progress they could be they could have been held up in something or you were but in the two of cups here she's holding the you know scales and the cats you know i i, I don't know if these are I don't know if they're cheetahs or it's just a form of a leopard. I don't know, but they're the same. They're the same like species basically though. Okay. So like they may have, they may not have the same exact spottings and things like that, but they're the same breed, the same species. So what I'm getting with the two of cups is like, there is someone that you connect to where you guys are the same species. You guys are very much alike. You have a lot in common. Um, this feels like, this could be someone from your past where maybe you guys had like chemistry, but maybe they were like married or in a connection or you were, and it was just like, you had to be two ships passing in the night and maybe someone comes back around because reclamation is here. It's like the devil card. Someone who's like going through some kind of transformation, rebirth, reclaiming their power. Okay. Someone's about to break their silence. The end of the mutable. And it says the end of a season. I'm getting the end of not knowing. I also feel for some of you guys, Sagittarius, there could be people like who are just trying to like maybe give their two cents about you, your life, or I don't know, other things. I have no idea. And I feel like you're not... I feel like you're not putting up with that. I feel like you're reclaiming your power. I feel like you're seeing a lot of karmic energies around you. Like you're discerning like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I had no idea that my, you know, my sibling was super karmic to me in this way, you know, until now I'm really seeing it, you know, but it could be anything or anyone. The book, some of you guys are studying it says philosophy, education, manuscripts, and author. Okay, some of you guys, this is confirmation. Write the book. You're meant to share something or create something. Memories. Someone's opening up like a book. They want you to read them like a book. They've been afraid because I feel this person, whoever you, whoever this is, they're afraid to be seen. They're afraid to be truly seen by someone else, okay? The letter, there's some kind of good news and communication. Could be handwritten.
the element of water, 50-50 things are fluid. Yeah, this is all about romantic energy, deep emotions, diving deep. And then Leo energy with strength card. Someone is very anxious, restless. This is nagging at them. They feel, you know, they're not sure if they've lost you. If there's something that you feel you need to say to somebody and it's like it's like gnawing away at you and you're just like, I really want to speak my truth or I want to do this or, you know, I need to do this or stand up for myself in this way, you know, it's like, just do it. Don't let it, you know, don't let it eat away at you, okay? That's what I want to say. I just saw 144. <laughs> Sometimes we have to do that to be light workers, you know? The winter about someone who, it's about being detached. It says you guys coming out of a state of like the winter of life and then all of a sudden, boom, there's more, you know, fertility and like newness and, you know, things like that. Becoming more grounded. Yeah, see, there's some kind of grounded energy moving towards you. You're, you're just becoming more stable. Health, lineage, roots, personal growth, connection to source, past lives, evolving, fertility. Um... So the, that's the energy that is around you at this time. Growth. Soulmate energy. Some type of new beginning in love and then stability. Some kind of big something or multiple even. You're going to feel like you're back on solid ground again. You're going to feel stabilized again is what I want to say. Um, what do I want to end this with? Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to get a Halloween Oracle card. So if this resonates with you guys, um, claim it as yours, like the video. And if you are new here, subscribe. Um, so you can come back for more and hit the notification bell. So you get notified when I go live and stuff. And if you guys want to book a reading, it's all down below. I have a few different, you know, options, sessions, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Um, and it's also where you will find information on, uh, detailed information on my 1111 portal activation and quantum healing workshop that is, um, that I am facilitating on 1111, uh, via zoom, but all the information is down below. I'm working with goddess Isis, Hathor and Mary Magdalene in this one. Um, it's going to be very powerful. So anyways, all right going to be beautiful. Vampire, emotional intelligence. Oh, you are very powerful. Very powerful. Some of you guys uh, might be connected to the night, but you have a very, you know, vampires are like otherworldly and they're extremely strong and, you know, like that kind of a thing, right? Um, that's you. You are very connected um, to, to the universal energies and powers. Um, you yourself are this enigma. You're very strong, okay? A vampire, not much can overpower or be a vampire, right? They're powerful, they're strong, they're fast, right? Um, so you embody these traits, right? Emotional, emotional intelligence, you've come a long way is what I want to say. You have a lot of emotional intelligence. You just have, you're, you're, you're intelligent either way. And then the mummy, look at that change. Look at that. And ancient Egypt vibes are showing up. <laughs> I love it. Change. Change is here. Okay. It's, it's been, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. It's, it feels like that. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to extend this one. Um, yeah, I'm not extending this. I don't feel the need to. Um, where you've been taking action, you're going to start seeing um, that the change within that, like where you've been putting your energy and taking action. And continue. Look at Look at the energies. Look at right here and right here. 
very much gives me like Mars energy, you know, but I don't know if that's supposed to be the moon. I mean, with, with, with change and emotional intelligence, I think it's supposed to be the moon. Um, kind of looks like a, a blood moon. That's the moon we just had, right? So, and then speaking of blood, the vampires, right? So it is Halloween. Um, anyways, my love, so this is what I have for you. Some of you guys are very old souls. You definitely connect to like, um, you know, I'm getting like Norse, like Norse mythology. Um, wait, what am I doing? Um, and ancient Egypt for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. You're also receiving abundance from past lives. Like stuff that was meant to come to you that wasn't, you know, that wasn't given to you or that's been held, you know, that was meant to come to you when you learned certain things or went through certain initiations or learned certain lessons, passed certain tests, right? It's like that's when it was meant to come to you, okay? All right, so Sagittarius, there is some heart-to-heart -heart conversations coming your way. I feel this Ace of Cups is all about opening up. Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. It's very much about bringing balance and opening up. Not holding back is what I want to say. Someone who's not holding back. I do feel an iciness though around this person. Maybe they've been healing past life traumas, family wounds, like childhood wounds. You know, I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like there's been some kind of level of maturity and some kind of like growth here. Um, that's taken place that's occurred that's like now allowing this energy to flow with the ace of cups okay so honestly discuss your feelings with each other okay so um yeah i feel this is someone who was a little freaked out by that before but whatever's happened they're more open they're coming in openly with that with that energy of the two of the ace of cups and it's it's an overflow my cup runneth over right my emotions are flowing um so anyways this is what i have for you my loves um i hope that you enjoyed this uh first uh week of november reading i'm gonna be doing the zodiacs for every week this uh for the month of november i'm gonna see how it goes and you know probably keep keep it up you know for a while but um i used to do it and then i stopped but anyways um so i hope that you enjoy okay so um again happy halloween my beautiful uh, spirit fam <laughs> and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Mwah. Bye my loves.